Hi and welcome back. What we're going to do now is we are going to do a sidebar. I'll just show you. Down here we're going to put a sidebar with, what are we having? A video, some graphics and an opt-in box. Uh, I can actually take you and just quickly show you mine. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. That's slow to load. That's my website and I chose, you can actually have graphics up the top here and this part up here but I actually like them down the side so I can show you both ways anyway, it's actually not that hard. There's also down here we've got a Facebook feed which um, updates from Facebook which is really nifty and then it just carries on down to your posts and your categories and your archives. So we'll pop back into the dashboard of our marketing, our training.com. In the back here, in the dashboard, when you go down to widgets over here, it brings up all these things here, which are in effect what we were looking at on the other page. And this is where you actually put them all. So you've got your side, sidebar top, sidebar left and sidebar right. So sidebar top would be this one. Side by left would be over here, side by right would be over here. And then we have a feature at the top, the feature which was this piece up here, we wanted to do one up there. And then we've got the footer as well, which is down the bottom, down here. So you can add stuff down there as well. Okay, first what we're going to do is we're actually going to create an HTML page and to do that we need um, there's some free software that you can get which is called um, NVU and you can literally just go to um, Google and type in NVU That's NVU there, so NVU download, that's the same one. You just click on that, download it to your hard drive, and then you'll end up with it down here. In your launch, your launch um, bar. Okay, so this is MVU. You've got normal coding down here. You've got the HTML tags and the source. What we're mainly working with is the normal and the source. Okay, so first you would. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a table. Now you can just sort of you can highlight and click down here and take it straight in like that. Or or you can go back up and go table insert table advanced edit down here you click on the in inline style And we've got width here, we changed the width, we wanted about 240 to um, fit into our and then go OK. We only want 4 by 1. Right, the first thing we want to do is when, what you need to do actually with your graphics is when you've got them on your hard drive, what you then need to do is go to your host scanner and your control panel. It's been sitting while it's a bit slow. Go to your control panel and what you want to do is go down and upload your graphics into your control panel. Now there's file manager or file legacy manager. The difference with file legacy manager is this is the one we'll use to grab the code um, because it gives you a URL. File manager doesn't seem to have one. But you can upload them in either. 
um, web, web root public HTML, yes. So we go go. Now, I'll go up one level here. Here we have public HTML. This is basically where all your WordPress um, information will be held. All the files that you you upload to the um, server. Down here in YP content and YP in uploads, these are the ones, these are some of the my files that I've uploaded in here. We'll go back up one directory. Two directories. And I'm just going to go into images. Okay, you can see I've got quite a few in here. These are just some that I use all the time. So what I want to do is I go over to this bar here. It says upload files. Choose a file. What it will do is it will take you to your hard drive. A little bit slow. Say I wanted to just upload, in the case of what I'm doing at the moment with my sidebar, I have those files. In here. A lot of people keep their images in their downloads, but I prefer them on the desktop so I can quickly grab them. Here are my arrows, I keep them separately. See how I've got all these different arrows? If you want to actually get some images together, you can actually go onto Google. I'll just quickly show you, it's pretty cool. I don't know so much about copywriting, but um, <laughs> I think everyone does it anyway, so I don't know of anyone who's had their knuckles wrapped as far as using pics. But then, you know, over here it's got images. So you click on images. And if you want some arrows, you just go arrows. And you can have them pointing down, pointing up, pointing left, whatever. I'll just say arrows. And we've got tons of arrows. These are quite big ones. But say you liked it, you could right click on it and save link as and then you'll just be able to download onto your um, into your images file things and just make sure you file them well you know be Okay, I clicked out of it because I was cheating. So, this is how you upload them. You can actually do it through file, FileZilla as well. Um, where I live, we have a wee bit of problem with our server, so it's actually too my my um, connection's too slow for FileZilla and it won't upload for me. So I've actually worked out a different way to um, be able to upload them, and it's actually just as good, I think. Um, say I want to download this one here. I'll just go open, and you'll see it coming up. Upload over here. Over the other side, you'll see this here, it says URL. So this is where this GIF um, is actually sitting on the server. So you can copy that address.
and and click on the inside here and insert image bring up this box and image location just paste it <coughs> you've got to put an alternate text in there for some reason um, just put arrow down You can do advanced edit if you want to change the width and stuff here. You've got to go to inline style, click on it, right click to 40. Okay, 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 so that's popped it in there. Um, I actually don't want that one, but I just wanted to show you how to upload one. Mine already uploaded in there, so I couldn't actually do that. So what I'm going to do is grab my um, ones that I've already uploaded. I'll just put them down the bottom here. Paste. Okay, there's my arrows. The next one I'm going to do is my ebook that I had um, worrying about those yet, I'm just concentrating on this piece here. So I have my arrows, my ebook, and then my option box. So the next one I want to center it first, so I go up here to center, insert image, grab my Just grab my, uh, my um, URL for my ebook that's on my server. So here I'll just put ebook. Actually, I don't need to worry about that because it's already at 210. Okay, and there's that. The next thing we need to do is click on the next box and we have to go over to a lever. And log in. And I showed you how to drop a web form last time. Um, I've got a few different web forms here that I can show you. You can do lots of different things with them. You can put images behind them, which is pretty cool. Okay, I just saved a bit of time because it takes a wee while to load the Aweb in mine for some reason. I've got some different ones here, so we'll preview this one that is already saved in web forms. And this is the fast track of success that I've already made up. Got another one here called my blog form. Get your exact strat my exact strategies and marketing blueprint. That's quite a good one. I think that this one here is the one that I've got an image on. Yeah, this is the marketing bootcamp one. Something a bit different. And this one. They're really easy to make out. Once you know what you're doing, you're just away. A little play around with them and just frag it till you get it right. My marketing strategies and blueprint is the one I want. So I go publish. Hi. Right, we're just over here at the web forms, and what we need to do is it brings up this publish, you know, when you click on publish, who will publish my 
your form view. What you want to do is just go down here and I will install the form myself. So it's a raw HTML. Looks pretty scary. There's a ton of, um, you just click on it once and it, it makes it blue. And then you right click it. Mm. Right click copy. And then we'll go back to our uh, NVU. Now down here we go across to source, down the bottom here. Click on that. And we, where it brings it up and where it flashes is exactly where you have to paste it. So you click on it, right click on it, and click on paste. And it will fire all this stuff in, all this coding. And that's the end of the web form. And that's up there. I think they have them in different colours here. It's black at the moment. That's the beginning of the web form. You don't have to worry about that, it's all taken care of. And then go back to normal. And there it is. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to copy and well, we can save it, save as. I've actually already saved mine, but I've just left it untitled. Um, what you can do now is you go back to source. And you go between the tables. So there's table here. It's just a little bit down from the top. So click that whole thing and scroll all the way down to nearly the bottom. And there it is there, table. Right click, copy, and we head over to our widget. Now what we're doing here is we need to put a couple of text boxes in here. So what we'll just do is grab them. It's going to work now. Come on. It doesn't like me doing too many things at once. It gets stroppy. Here's a text box. It's one. Oh, it's in the wrong one. I need to that one. Got it. You just hold your finger on it and drag it up. And it's two. You can see there, there's two text boxes. The top one we'll put our video in. This is the one that we want to paste our coding into. So we just paste. And then save. And there it is. Awesome, so that's that. The next thing we'll have a look at is doing a header up here. Talk to you soon.